national qualifier. I'm honored to welcome to the podium from the College of William and Mary, a senior majoring in psychology and kinesiology with a concentration in health. Here's Michael Dietz. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Bar Connor for introducing me. Um, so a huge welcome and congratulations goes out to all the schools represented here at the NCAA National Championships. I am honored to speak on behalf of the student athletes and thank Coach Gauthier for nominating me and the NCAA for selecting me to do so. It is such an accomplishment to be sitting here as we prepare for a great competition. We all know the hard work it takes in and out of the gym to be able to sit in these seats. We've put countless hours of training over many, many years to have this opportunity. The sport is so unique, not only because of the incredible skills we do with our bodies, while making it seem effortless and striving for perfection, but also because of the atmosphere this community of respectable men it provides. We are unlike any other sports teams that hold grudges and have hatred toward their rivals. We all have so much respect for the men sitting at the tables next to us and understand that everyone has a different story that led us to where we are today. We understand the struggles, the pain, and also all the admirable accomplishments that we've all encountered during our journeys. It is truly a community of brothers. Many of us met each other and competed throughout JOs against each other, and the NCAA community has only made these relationships stronger. I remember walking into an arena for a meet once, and a student athlete from an opposing school, who was not a gymnast, asked what time the meet was and proceeded to wish me luck. Right afterwards, he withdrew the luck and said, oh wait, I can't wish another school luck. I naturally responded by saying, no, we all want each other to do well here. Right when I walked into the gym, my reaction was confirmed. The host team who was put, putting finishing touches onto the gym before the meet stopped everything they were doing just to welcome us. Gymnasts that I only knew through a few competitions a year came up to me and said they saw a video of my new tumbling pass on Facebook, said it looked good, asked if it was going in the set today. And during that meet, when I almost went out of bounds during my final tumbling pass, the whole opposing team was standing in the corner yelling, fight, fight, you got it, Deets. These are just a couple of the numerous examples of the camaraderie and the relationships formed between all the athletes here. We help each other out at meets, with corrections and skills, but also with issues in our personal lives. In my life, I've dealt with my mother's health declining for many years now. And when I left for college, she got much worse. It's not something I like to discuss much, but I decided it was best to let my team know what was going on, since it was really affecting me to not be with her. I know she wanted me to pursue this opportunity that William and Mary and the NCAA gave me a few years ago, and to continue this journey and not hold back. I could not be more grateful for the support and understanding I received from my teammates. And when things were getting very bad with her health, I figured I should keep friends and family updated. And the easiest way to do this was Facebook. So I resorted to that to keep people in the loop that needed to know what was going on. I ended up receiving messages from gymnasts who are in this room, some of which I had only seen a few times before. Yet they wrote to me telling me that she was in their thoughts and their prayers and that they're hoping for the best for her and my family. When she passed away a few weeks ago, some of the first people to send me their condolences were not only members of my team, but from a bunch of teams in the NCAA. That meant the world to me. Because I realized the sport had brought us all close enough together that my family is all of yours as well. It didn't matter if we knew each other that well or just knew each other's names. In a sense, we are all brothers. I know we all have stories like this because that's what men's gymnastics is about. Respect, admiration, and unconditional support. This week is much more than a competition. It's a celebration. A celebration of the wonderful sport of men's gymnastics. It has been a privilege 
to have been surrounded by all of you during these past few years, and especially with this past month. And I could not be more thrilled to continue this journey tomorrow. Good luck to all of you. It's truly been an honor to compete with such amazing athletes, leaders, and yes, my brothers. Thank you very much. Thank you for those powerful and poignant remarks tonight.